Okay, hi Josh, um, I'm Venus to Heaven, and I've been watching your videos since the first one of this Miriam series, actually that was how I, how I got involved in YouTube, you were the first, first person I watched, and I was a little bit pissed off at you for a bit, because you don't really keep us updated as much as I'm sure we would all like, but, uh, I finally have a webcam now, and I can, I can give you my opinions on your Miriam issue. Um, I'm not gonna pretend that I've ever been in that situation. That really, really fucking sucks. But, uh, it seems to me like you guys are really both very intense people. Especially you, you're really emotional. And, um, that's good, but it sets you up for a lot of, a lot of hurt. Your highs and lows are really, really extreme. I mean, when you're happy, seems to me like you'd really be enjoying the world and love and, and experience with this girl and then when you're sad or when you're crushed you're crushed it, it, it like I said fucking sucks um, I'm like that I, I think I can relate that way but uh, for this as for this what she said to you about just wanting to be friends I think if you if you take a step back you really gotta kind of think she has been going through a lot of the same shit you have with emotions where okay I love my boyfriend um, he's important to me and at one point he made me feel like like Josh does obviously I mean she's an attractive girl and she's she's been she's had that opportunity to, to pick and choose and she found somebody that made her feel um, as good if not better than the way you're making her feel now but then all of a sudden you come and you stir up her world and remind her what it's like to have this first first infatuation bit, I don't want to say love because I don't know if that's what it is, but this, that first infatuation phase that is so wonderful and such a connection with a person. And I believe that it is possible to love many people and if you can just stop, step back for a second and look into her world and what, what does she do when she's in love with her boyfriend and she's made a commitment to him and she's been with him and made a history with him for so long and he's right for her but then she meets somebody else who touches her in the in the, it it's it's a hard thing she feels it but it's also a little bit different it's a little bit exciting it's um a new infatuation that that causes different expressions and feelings in her life and uh is that one better is it worth giving up the whole history i mean who says that that you're better you could just be just as compatible with her as she is and I know it sucks to hear this um, because you want to be you want her to think that she's that you're as good for her as she is for you that that um, you'd like to think that she's just as infatuated and maybe she is but what if you were in I don't know if you I don't think it sounds like you ever really committed to someone like she has or not in the same you're not a girl <laughs> so it's not that easy but um it's a really hard position that she's in I think and I guess what I'm saying is just um basically tough noogies um I don't think that that this is going to turn out in your favor I, I wish it would because I think that you deserve it um with the emotion that you've invested in this and and sounds like you're a real genuine guy but you know, it's the whole fairy tale story. The good guy always wins, and I'd like to think that you're the good guy, but I think that the boyfriend in this situation is. He's already been there for so long, and it doesn't sound to me like there's anything wrong with him, that she has serious problems. But you did say that she said sparks are not as good there. Now, is that just because you are stirring up different uh, things in her life, or in her emotions, or better? there's really no, I don't think that there's a better, and that is really hard. So what am I saying? Um, I'm saying that doing the friend thing is really, really hard, especially if you, if you want more and you know you want more. I've done that. Um, you can't pretend to be a friend to someone when you're in love with them. Um, I mean, you can be the best friend for them, and it's amazing for them to have someone who, who would do all, is always thinking about them and thinking about what is best for them, because that's what you would do as a friend for her. You would, 
you would be the best kind of friend she could have, but, but you wouldn't get enough back from her. Um, it sounds to me like she had this decision to make, and she chewed on it for a while, and it sounds to me like she decided that her long-term investment that she's had with her boyfriend is safer, if that's why she picked it, or, or better, as much as that is horrible to say, um, but she still likes you, there's still that connection, and that's why she doesn't want to, want to lose you. But are you willing to sacrifice um, a little bit of your integrity and kind of be in love with her without receiving any back? Or not receiving the whole thing? I mean, are you willing to, to commit yourself to this girl and be a part of her life, but only half? Do you know what I mean? I, it seems a little bit cheap, but at the same time, she's so amazing. and. And I can understand, because I, I did that. I can really understand why you would um, choose to stay there, even if you know that it's not fully for you. But um, good luck. Keep me posted. I'll, I'll give you my, my thoughts. I don't know if they're exactly what you want to hear, or if you really even care. But um, that's my word. That's my thoughts. Cheers.